Hey guys, welcome to Dental Dork. My name is Chrissy and in today's video I'm going to explain how to use prescription fluoride toothpaste and give you three pro tips that can be used to enhance its effectiveness. Prescription fluoride toothpaste is something that I hand out on the regular. The most common brand my dentist and I prescribe is actually Colgate Prevident 5000 Booster Plus. I'm going to start off by reading the instructions on the back of the tube. This is not a dentifrice. Hold on a second. Dentifrice means toothpaste. This is a toothpaste tube that says this is not toothpaste. So what is it? This is a common misconception about prescription fluoride toothpaste. As a dental professional, I make the mistake of calling this prescription a toothpaste every single day. Recently, I have been trying to call it a tooth supplement so that it can be better understood that it does not replace regular toothpaste. Side note, please remember this is a prescription toothpaste and cannot be bought over the counter. I've made another video explaining the difference between prescription fluoride toothpaste and regular over-the-counter toothpaste. Be sure to always consult your doctor before using this product as well. Okay, so let's go over directions. It is to be used after their regular nighttime routine. That means brushing with the regular toothpaste, flossing, water picking, tongue brushing, mouth washing, whatever you usually do, once it is all done, then we can apply the prescription fluoride supplement. You'll want to apply a small ribbon of this gel onto the bristles of a toothbrush. If it's electric, I usually say leave it off and brush or rub it into your teeth for about one minute. Then expectorate. Expectorate means to spit. I just really like that word. But do not rinse, eat, or drink for 30 minutes after you apply the supplement. This is why I usually recommend doing it at night. And that's it. It's that simple. But wait, there's more. Now for the pro tips. Pro tip number one. If you're someone that always gets cavities in between your teeth, you're diagnosed after x-rays are taken, this pro tip is for you. After you apply the gel and expectorate or spit, remembering not to rinse, you'll go back and drag floss in between your teeth. This is important because the gel doesn't really foam and it's pretty liquidy. So when you run floss in between your teeth, it will help to drag that liquid to go into the places that really need the strengthening. All right, pro tip number two. This is for someone that has one specific trouble area. Instead of applying a small ribbon of gel to your toothbrush and rubbing it into all of your teeth, apply a small glob to the tip of your finger or to a Q-tip and put it directly on that one spot. Spend some time rubbing it into that one localized area. Again, then you can spit, but being sure not to rinse, eat, or drink for 30 minutes after. All right, pro tip number three. If you have whitening trays, a night guard, or a plastic retainer at home, after applying this gel, place it in your mouth and go right to sleep. This will help to hold the product to your tooth longer so that your teeth can absorb the mineral. That's all I've got today, guys. I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.